Good day all, welcome back to Cruising Classics YouTube channel. Today we have a special treat for all you Mopar fans out there. This is a 1974 Roadrunner GTX 440. I hardly ever see those out on the road, you might say. Well, there's a fine reason for that. Only 386 of these beauties were produced back in 1974, making this one rare Mopar gem. Dressed today in stunning rally red with a white stripe, white accent on the hood. Originally, this was a dark gray metallic car with red stripes, but was repainted at some point in its life. Paint still looks very, very good at this point. You can see the nice chrome bumper with the bumper guards, courtesy of 1974 crash test regulations. The sport hood with the hood pin closures as ordered from the factory. And of course, that Roadrunner logo. On top of both the fenders, you'll see it has a turn signal indicator. Both work, which is really a cool little feature. Moving down to the side of the car, you'll see that it's been optioned pretty well. It's got a set of really nice Magnum 500s on it, both front and back. You can see it's got wheel lip trim molding. It has painted race mirrors dual painted race mirrors you can see them on both sides there on the top you have roof drip molding another factory option the transverse white stripe leading down to the cool roadrunner logo and again originally the stripe was red car was dark gray metallic but this combination looks fantastic As we move around to the rear of the car, you'll see that the rear bumper is in the same excellent condition that the front is. Lights are in good condition. And yet another Roadrunner logo. Now inside the trunk are a couple little goodies that we definitely want to share with you. So bear with me as we open the trunk. Back here, in the rear of the car, we've got a full-size spare with a factory jack. We have shop manuals. A set of fuzzy dice. A trophy the car recently won. A book containing photographs from when the paintwork was done to the car, which is really cool to have. You can see here there's quite a few pictures of it as they got the paint all done. And we will share some more of those with you in the photographs section of our listing for the car. We also have an original sales brochure and a really nice framed picture of the car that you could put out at a car show. Or just hang it in your garage for cool factor. Lots of nice little extras in the trunk. Now we'll move around to the front of the car. I definitely want to share with you what's underneath that hood. There is an interior hood pole, and we will use that. That is as ordered from factory. Looks like I didn't get it popped. I'm gonna have to try again. There we are. And under the hood, a nice tidy engine bay with a 440 V8. It is a 1974 440 V8, but it is not a numbers match to this car. So it's definitely error correct, year correct, but not correct to the car. Although the air breather says it's a 440 with a four barrel, it's a 440 with an Edelbrock E Street electronic fuel injection system on it. Guaranteeing the nice, easy starts year-round. 
You can see we've got fin valve covers. It is a power brake car. You can see there it's got a dual reservoir and the power unit. It is a power steering car. You can see the reservoir down here. It is a factory air car. That's right, and the air still works and blows nice and cold. Pretty cool feature with a 440. It does have Pertronics ignition. So again, great starts, great drive, great ride. What a unique car. You just don't see these every day. We're awfully excited about it in case you can't tell. As you go to enter the car, the excitement level really picks up because it's one of only 386 made, but it is far rarer than that when you see the Wimbledon interior. That's right, and it is in very nice shape. Bucket seats as ordered from factory, center console with wood grain insert as ordered from factory. It also has a factory tack ordered that way when it was bought. So cool. You can see the door cards have a small amount of wear to them. A little bit of patina on top from arms resting on it as the car rolled down the road during the summertime with the window down. But all in all, they are in good condition, just not quite perfect. Now inside the car, see it has a nice tight headliner. And the back seat is in excellent condition. No rips, no tears. That Wimbledon interior is just as it came from the factory. Hopping inside the car, you'll see the wood grain dash along with the factory tack. You can see down on the lower left the controls for the heating and air conditioning, both of which work. Factory gauges, oil, fuel, temp, all, all work. Factory radio works. The dash is free of cracks. Shows just a touch of age, but all original and in excellent condition. I believe this to be the original steering wheel for the car. And of course, you've got your smiling little Roadrunner there. Beep, beep. <laughs> you gotta love that. Console in good condition. The console storage box opens and closes as it should. You'll see somebody has added some uh, Roadrunner floor mats. Easily removed, but I kind of like them. I'd leave them there. They look very much of the genre. As you can see, the passenger door card has a little less patina than the driver's door card, but still shows a little bit of age over time. Not perfect, but very, very nice. Now I'm gonna do what everybody wants me to do, I'm sure, and that's fire this 440 up. And let's hear her. Nice. That great start is courtesy of the, uh, Edelbrock E Street electronic fuel injection and the Protronics ignition. Nice, easy start every time. Real smooth running V8. And as we come back to the rear, you can hear that burbly dual exhaust with chrome tips. Singing that song we all love to hear. We're awful proud of this car. We'd love to answer any questions you may have about it. 
give us a call here in Columbus. Our number at Cruising Classics is 614-276-7355. We can also help you get the car transported in an enclosed carrier to your own garage. And we can help with financing. We have a couple of companies that specialize in loans on classic rides just like this. We'll do everything we can to try and put this cool Roadrunner GTX in your garage today. Give us a call. Thanks for joining us today on Cruising Classics YouTube channel.